So then, how do I set up feature definitions? Now, this is the most common workflow. First of all, you're going to link to the native feature library. And this is a little bit different uh, for MX inroads and GeoPack, and so we'll show it all three ways. And once you've linked to that, then you're going to review and edit the items that are created. And then if you choose to, you can reorganize the structure of the items that were created. Uh, this will apply more to inroads and MX than it does to uh, GeoPack uh, because GeoPack already uh, can have a structure of categories. Uh, and then the last, then you'll uh, configure that DGM lib file for use across your entire organization. So we have inroads uh, running now, power inroads. And uh, so let's start by making a new DGN file. So in Project Explorer, we see that we have no feature definitions. We can start by linking the active feature styles. Now the styles that are linked are those that are active in En-ROADS. So if you look at the En-ROADS Explorer, then we'll see default styles is the one that's active. That's the one that gets linked. So once we've linked those, the next thing that we want to do is review these for uh, make sure that they suit our needs. Probably they're going to work fairly well straight out of the box without any editing at all, but you will want to review, for example, what is it linked up to show in plan space, which native style is used for profile, make sure those are suitable. You can then over time make adjustments to these, you know, to put in template styles instead of native styles where it's appropriate. We talked about that in an earlier video. So what if you need to change a bunch of these at once? Do you have to go onesie and twosie? No, you can actually multi-select and change them all at once. So if you have a particular edit that needs to be done for everything, then you can multi-select and change it for every one. So that's the second step, is to review these, make sure that they're going to work. Now in En-ROADS XIN file, uh, it's a pretty flat structure. It is a flat structure, and so everything gets is just in together. You can, though, introduce uh, some structure to this. And so, for example, I can create a category for uh, pavement lines. So now I have a blank category, and so for example, I can then move these and build then a structure that makes sense where that you've never had a structure before. You don't have to do that. If you're happy with the flat structure, then that's fine. Um, but you do have the option now of creating a category structure if you wish. One other note about uh, how these are uh, created. You remember our previous discussion, there are linear feature definitions, there are point feature definitions, and there are surface feature definitions. In En-ROADS, uh, actually, if we take a look uh, at one of these, uh, Centerline, for example, it can actually be defined to be both linear and a point feature. And so, uh, in En-ROADS you carry the same definition or the same settings for the various contexts in one definition. Uh, in the Select Series 3 Bentley Civil, uh, these are actually separate and so what happens then when you link to the XIN file then it actually gets divided and so you end up then with a feature definition called Centerline which is used for the linear features it gets a suffix of PNT for point features. And then 
if per chance there it has a surface definition then that gets split out as well and so um, asphalt you see has both a linear and a surface definition so once you're happy with the uh, with the editing and the structure if you choose to introduce one then the only thing left is to uh, add this uh, DGN library to your uh, network uh, drive where everybody has access to it. Once this file is added uh, in your workspace to this uh, directory path then it will be available for everybody to use in their projects.